Dr. Beher, what are the genetic mutation influencing the decision to undergo hematopoietic stem cell transplant? So the genetic mutations that help me understand whether or not a patient should go to have an, uh, what we call an allogeneic stem cell transplant or a bone marrow transplant, there are several mutations that really fit this category. In particular, we want to make sure that a patient that is being considered for an, a stem cell transplant has higher risk disease. For the most part, we don't transplant patients who have lower risk disease because we think that they are likely to live longer and better if they wait to get the transplant until later. So patients who undergo transplantation will typically have a variety of factors that point to higher risk disease, including the presence of certain mutations. That said, there are certain mutations that predict outcome after transplant. And the most notorious is a gene called TP53. Mutations in the gene TP53 are associated with early relapse after transplant, and unfortunately with a very poor overall survival. So in my practice, when I find that a patient has a TP53 mutation, it doesn't take transplant off the table necessarily. We still consider it as an option for them, but we wanna do everything we can to try to reduce their burden of disease prior to the transplant so that it perhaps delays the onset of relapse and allows the transplant to take hold and help control the disease afterwards. And we also consider other options like experimental therapies, clinical trials, things that may help us do better than we're doing today with our standard of care therapies. So in that sense, the presence of mutations can be incredibly important in helping us understand which patients are likely to do well after transplant and which patients may need additional help in the form of experimental therapies and clinical trials.